I'm Pete Reid. Um, I'm in the British Coxless Four leading up to the Olympics in 2012 in London. Uh, I joined the Navy actually when I was 18. Uh, that was before I started rowing and then went from there to university being sponsored to go through. I started rowing, quickly loved it, got into it and really got the bug. Uh, I went to Oxford and raced the boat race, then jumped in a pair with Andy Hodge and won trials. From there I got selected into the Coxus Four in 2005 and we had a long winning streak in the Coxus Four, getting two world titles and going undefeated for a long time. And then uh, we came unstuck in 2007, getting a, uh, a fourth place finish and then um, came back to win in 2008 at the Olympics. And then after that, Andy and I decided to go into the pairs event. So we raced for three years. Um, we won when the Kiwis weren't there, but there's this fast Kiwi pair that everyone knows about and they know that story. So we picked up silvers behind them the whole time. And then this season, we've been put back into the four, really happy with the new lineup. And uh, so far we've got one um, World Cup gold behind us in Belgrade three weeks ago. Uh, we're right in the middle of the campaign at the moment for this Lucerne World Cup regatta and then hopefully we'll go on for uh, Olympic gold in 2012. I think there's a big difference between the excitement and, um, and the pressure that's going to be involved around London. So uh, there's masses of expectation on us now that we're in the, the flagship Coxless 4. Everybody's in, the, in our country in Great Britain is looking to the Coxless 4 to produce uh, a gold medal. And, and that's because of the heritage and history we've got in that event. And if we do get a gold medal, it'll be the fourth time in Olympic succession. And I don't think that's been done before in rowing. So uh, eyes are on us to produce. And um, that comes with the pressure as well. But... I think we've got to see that if there are 60 million people in our country wanting us to win a gold medal, it's not pressure, that's just support. And uh, we've got to take that very positively. And, and so far we have done. There's a lot of excitement in the boat. For me personally, the Olympic bug is still there. I mean, um, we, we did everything right leading up into Beijing and to have a gold medal is phenomenal and very exciting. But I feel like that medal's in the past now and we're really looking forward to uh, getting everything right in London. And it's special because it's a home Olympics. I mean, who would have thought that we'd be right at the peak of our careers with all the opportunity behind us, everything in place to be uh, doing as well as we can at home games. And it's, it's the sort of thing that um, athletes' dreams are made of and we just need to make sure that we get it absolutely right. But it's fascinating. The buzz, the buzz in Great Britain um, with the, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee coming up and, and with the Olympics on the horizon is uh, just electric at the moment. I'm quite a quiet guy. I think I like my personal space. I spend so much time around the, the team. I, I, I get on with the team well. Uh, Andy and I have been mates for a long time and uh, I'm close with my crew, but you, you see an awful lot of those guys. So when I go back, I like to see my friends away from rowing and, and private time. Uh, I, recently, I've got into photography in a big way and really enjoy that. I find it's a, a nice way to escape from the sport and just um, uh, sort of try and realise some of my failing artistic passions and uh, try and mix my love of uh, art and, and gadgets into a one nice mix. So photography works very well. I'm, I'm a general photographer at the moment. I, I love wildlife but never get the chance to, um, to shoot wildlife. Uh, I, I, I love nature photography, so a few landscapes, but really um, I, I love doing portraits and uh, photographing people. But I think I just need to get into a bit more and be a bit braver with uh, taking shots because very often the shots are of the people in the team and uh, it's easy to annoy people who are getting ready for racing or just come off the water or maybe they're disappointed, maybe they're happy, but uh, shoving a camera in someone's face at the wrong time isn't always great. But I love portraits.